And he and I have become good friends. And we started talking, uh, we were going to do it in Markham. Markham show a year ago, Dean's like, I want to come out. He's very confident on the radio. He's not as confident tonight. He's a very shy boy back there right now. I'm fine. He's very nervous. I'm good. Twelve shots in him. Twelve shooters. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He's, he hasn't drank. So he wanted to come to the Markham show. I thought he was kidding. He didn't come, but he thought I was kidding. So this time we said, all right, his girlfriend's from Kitchener. He said, I want to do the Kitchener, I want to do the Kitchener show. Right? She's not up front, is she? That would be weird. You didn't say that kind of no, no, no offense, I hope not. Yeah. So, anyway, so he said, I'm going to do the kitchen show. I said, okay, so we talked about it on the radio. How many people here are here for Dean that's heard on the radio? Yeah. Yeah. So I told, I told him he probably had sold 100 tickets. He probably sold them all. Please don't leave after Dean, because i got to come out. <laughs> so here we go. So... He's kind of chirping me on the radio, and I think he knows he was kidding, because I told him, I said, it's very hard, but you're fortunate, because my first time was not in front of 1,600 you know, fans like this. It was in front of like a drunks at a comedy club, and it was, it was horrible. Now, this is probably not going to be horrible, but a small part of me hopes it is. It be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give it up for my buddy, Dean Lundell. Thank you. I am thankful as heck I can't see past the first ten rows, I can tell you that. Woo. That's, was that funny? <laughs> well, then we're going to do just fine. Uh, good to see you. I, actually, it's funny because uh, I just got a text from my girlfriend. This is uh, honest to God. I, I, I'm nervous. Not that nervous. Not nervous enough to not do it. Uh, but my girlfriend just sent me a text, and, and, and now I'm nervous. Uh, she's a Kitchener girl. Kitchener girls are smoking, by the way. <laughs> most of them. <laughs> I was at Oktoberfest last week. That's why I said most of them. <laughs> so this is so this is my first time doing this. I've done stuff before, but nothing like this. I get this from my girlfriend, who I love dearly. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Just be yourself. See, this is gonna go well, that was fun. If it's sucking balls, cut it quick and run off the stage. It gets better. We'll laugh at you. I'm nervous too, chewing gum like it's pulled pork poutine. God bless you, Cindy. Let's hear it from my beautiful girlfriend. Fest last weekend, actually, uh, her whole family. I've never seen a family drink that much in my life. I don't know if it's Kitchener people, but uh, we, we, we go to Oktoberfest. We have a, a really nice time. Um, we, we meet two lesbians. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Two lesbians. Beautiful lesbians. <laughs> yeah, that guy thinks lesbians are hilarious. <laughs> um, we meet these two lesbians, and I, and, and I said, well, how, you know, how did you guys get together? He said, you know, we met at uh, University of Waterloo. Waterloo grads here. Um, I'm a little easy for the quick, the quick woos. So I bring up universities that are local. Uh, so and she said, well, you know, we, we, we tried it, and we liked it. And I thought, for the love of God, what happens if while you're trying it, you didn't, you didn't like it? And I thought, and I th as, I, as I do, I thought, Guys never try gay. <laughs> and if you do, you're not telling anybody. <laughs> you never hear that at poker. Hey, uh, you know, guys. <laughs> Third year university, right? I gotta tell you. So. <laughs> there I am. My mouth was open. <laughs> So after half an hour, I'm thinking, yes, this might not be for me. 